So welcome back once again. This is Kevin doing a troubleshooting video for the benefit of everyone who has an Ever Solar TL1500 AS inverter that displays a fault relay output failure. So in the last two videos, we discussed how we're going to take the inverter off the wall, how we're going to pull the circuit board out, where the faults were in the relay. And this one, I'm just going to simulate and show you a final test you would like to do before you put the circuit board in to prevent any short circuit and damage anything else. So before we go ahead, make sure you are confident in what you're doing. Make sure you've taken safety as a top priority. You are not by yourself. You want to do this during the day when you've got plenty of light. Someone's with you. And if you're not confident in doing this, do not attempt this because the kick that the AC or the DC side is going to give you will be pretty nasty. It may cause some serious damage to you permanently. Also, while you're going to do this, make sure you isolated the AC and the DC side. There is an RCD where the inverter is actually fitted. There will be two switches up there. And there is also one generally in your main circuit breaker board where you have your meter. So make sure you have thoroughly isolated, you've disconnected all the wires and only attempt this after that for this to be safe. So um, I haven't replaced the relay yet in this one. Uh, I'm still in the process of doing this. I'm just going one step ahead to show you. Once you have successfully mounted the right relay into this particular circuit board, uh, this test will determine that there is no short circuit in, this, in the circuitry itself that won't cause any serious damage. For that, we're going to use a multimeter. I'm going to set the multimeter up here for continuity test, right? As you can see, it now says an open circuit, open line. And I'm going to press this so I actually have an audio alarm. So what that does is basically the circuit's complete gives me a beep when the circuits open there is no beep and the circuits closed gives me a beep here we have three output tabs uh, this is the one actually pumps power back into your grid and we want to make sure that nothing in the circuit is short because if it is your rcd will trip you will you will see that and it will tell you that there is a fault but you don't want to go to that phase we want to do that before that so make sure that uh, after we've installed the relays that there is no fault so I'm going to touch these two first these two poles I've got nothing I'm going to touch this one there's nothing then I'm going to touch these two and these two so that's the test you want to make sure that these three poles none of them have a closed circuit because if they are it's a short and if it's a short you have a massive fault current and if you have a fault current your RCD is going to trip so two of the most two outside ones the inside one to the center, the outside one to the center. If you don't get a beep like this, you're all good. But if you get a beep, that means there is something wrong in your circuit, which means the circuit is short and you don't want to install it while that is happening. So that's all we have in this particular video. Thank you for watching. Hope this has helped you. If it hasn't, you might want to contact Eversolar or the right technicians in your area depending which state you are in or which country you are in and they will probably get you a refurbished unit to help you out. Once again it's Kevin and thank you for watching.